today we'll be looking at a very important design pattern which is the servant pattern so uh, these are the two most common implementations of servant design pattern this is the first one and this is the second one we will look at these class diagrams but first let us look at an example to make things more clear okay so uh, this is the servant class offering its functionality to classes implementing movable interface so this servant class is at the heart of this pattern this basically uh, <clears throat> offers its service or we can say the functionality to the serviced classes so first method it is having is move to so it is taking a an instance of a movable class and which is the serviced class basically so movable is the serviced class and this class which we are currently in is the servant class so it takes an instance of that uh, service class and uh, service class basically is the class to which i am providing the service okay and a position where so um, i will move i will uh, take this class and move it to this position so service dot set position where okay and similarly move by i move it in x direction by dx and in y direction by dy so whatever its x coordinate is i add um, x uh, serviced dot get position in that so um, and whatever its y coordinate is we add uh, so service dot get position will give me the x coordinate i add dx in it and dy uh, i add in its y coordinate and the new position i set as dx comma dy okay so the final thing is the original coordinate plus dx comma original coordinate of y plus dy okay uh, now look at the movable interface so this is the interface which is known to the servant servant knows that i am providing service to such classes who implement this movable interface so servant knows only about this movable interface and it knows that movable interface uh, and de uh, declare some method set position and a get position method so uh, whatever objects i am providing service must define a set position method uh, which i can use to set their position okay now we talk about the actual uh, serviced classes so first is triangle so uh, it is providing the definition of this uh, set position it is just setting its position attribute to p that's all um, what else we have a getter as well for position similarly we have a ellipse which is a oval shaped uh, figure in uh, mathematics so uh, this is also implementing movable it is having an attribute we are having saturn and getter for that a rectangle same story saturn and getter for a position attribute and this position basically encapsulates two fields the x coordinate and the y coordinate both of them being integers right and it's simple constructor initializing both of them so it's basically a pojo that is a plain old java object okay now having looked at this uh, these rectangle ellipse and triangle these are the serviced classes all of them are uh, basically based on this interface movable 
which is known by the servant that I am providing uh, service to those classes which are implementing the movable interface okay now let us move to the class diagram for a better clarity so um, in these two class diagrams we will be talking about uh, the two kind of implementations for this design pattern okay so in first implementation here the user is the client so uh, some things remain same in both the implementation like servant is uh, providing servant is uh, knowing about this i serviced interface uh, movable in our example and serviced is serviced one and service two triangle and rectangle so let's say they both are implementing this interface okay so servant knows about interface and serviced concrete service classes implement that interface this thing is same in both the diagrams let us see the other diagram also servant knows about the interface and both the service classes are implementing this interface okay these are the common things in both the di class diagrams so now let us talk about what the difference is so the difference is that the client or the user in the first implementation the client is directly talking to the uh, servant so client knows about the servant and it is asking it to uh, it also have the uh, service classes at its dependencies it should have so uh, if i want to move the rectangle i should have rectangle as a dependency right so uh, i am associated with this rectangle thing so and a triangle also and these two uh, rectangle and triangle i will uh, i have a servant basically i will ask the servant to move my rectangle i will ask the servant to move my triangle all those things i can ask so this is the first implementation but in the second implementation the difference is the user is here it is talking directly to the service classes that is let's say the triangle and the rectangle so it is basically talking to the triangle and the triangle is further talking to the servant okay so triangle is associated to the servant and rectangle is also associated to the servant so this is the particular difference basically so uh, the user talks to the triangle and ask it to move to let's say a specified position and then the triangle will convey the same thing to the servant triangle will order the servant move to me to the uh, this position and then it will be moved so the difference is that i think you got the difference in the, these two implementation in this one the user is directly asking the servant to uh, move the service class but in this one uh, user just talks to the service classes and they uh, basically ask the servant to move themselves okay i uh, hope it's clear thank you friends